Now, what are red flag signs in development? See, I told you the thing that, um, you know, crawling should come by, normally should come by 8 months of age. And creeping comes at 10 months. So, crawling comes at 8 months. What if a child is not crawling by 9 months? It is a delay of 1 month. Would you say child has developmental delay? The answer is no. For a particular set of milestones, there are certain age, age limits that we have set. That if this milestone is not attained by this age, then it indicates developmental delay. So these are called as red flag signs. So if a particular milestone is not attained by the upper limit of that age, it is a red flag sign and indicates likely abnormal development. Right. So let us go one by one. First of all, visual fixation or following. Visual fixation or following, it normally comes in the newborn period. If it doesn't come by two months of age, the upper limit is two months. If it doesn't come by two months, it is a red flag sign for abnormal development. Vocalization, production of any sound apart from crying, generally comes around two months or three months of age. If vocalization has not come by six months of age, that indicates red flag sign of developmental delay. Sitting without support should come by 10 months of age. If it doesn't come by 10 months, that is a developmental delay. Standing with support should come by 12 months. If it doesn't come, it indicates developmental delay. Crawling normally comes at 8 months. If it doesn't come by 14 months, it indicates developmental delay. Standing or walking alone normally comes somewhere around 12 months. If it doesn't come by 17 to 18 months, that indicates developmental delay. Using single words, normally single words come at what age? Simple words. One to two word uh, sentences, uh, one to two simple words child is able to make with meaning one year of age, 12 months of age. If it doesn't come by 18 months of age, it indicates red flag sign of developmental delay. And lastly, imaginative play. If the child is unable to do any imaginative play by three years of age, that indicates red flag sign of developmental delay. So these are the milestones at the upper limit of red flag sign in development that you need to know. Also remember that neuroregression is different and lack of development is different. The regression means a milestone was attained and then the child loses the milestone. The regression will be a feature of many white and gray matter disorders. One typical example of uh, neuroregression will be Rett syndrome. It has also been described in patients with late onset, slight late onset of West syndrome that is infantile spasm. Developmental delay on the other hand is child not gaining development. It can occur in multiple conditions including trisomy 21, that is Down syndrome, cerebral palsy, any brain insert, microcephaly, etc. Right. Moving further, there was a question asked on development quotient. So, what is development quotient? Development quotient is calculated by the formula developmental age divided by chronological age yeah. multiplied by 100. Let's assume, I'll give you a case. Let us take an example. Suppose there is a, a six-year-old child who's brought to you for developmental delay assessment. What is the age of the child? Chronological age, actual age? Six years. Okay. While doing assessment, you find that his gross motor is delayed. You find the child is able to run independently. Child is able to ride a tricycle and he is able to go upstairs without support. But he is not able to go downstairs without support. And he is not able to hop. What is the DQ? So how would you calculate? Child is able to run independently which comes at 18 months. Okay. 18 months to 2 years it should it, it has it should come and it has come. So 2 years se upar hai age. 18 months se upar hai. Right. Child is able to ride a tricycle and he is able to go upstairs without support. So 3 year age milestone has been attained. But he is not able to go downstairs without support and he is not able to, to hop. That means 4 year milestone is missing. So the age, developmental age of the child should be about 3 to 3 and a half years. So how would you calculate DQ? Developmental age which should be roughly 3 years or so. Divided by chronological age which is roughly 6 year multiplied by 100. How much DQ you get? 50%. Does it indicate developmental delay? Yes it does. How? Because... If DQ in a child is less than 70%, it indicates significant developmental delay in the child. DQ should be assessed for every domain. What is a domain? 
gross motor, fine motor, language, personal, social, visual, hearing. If they are, these are all domains. So you should assess them separately for each domain. If DQ is less than 70% in one domain, we say significant developmental delay has happened in that domain. And the question arises, what is global developmental delay? What is global developmental delay? Global developmental delay is also written as GDD. If there is, by calculation according to DQ, if there is significant delay in two or more domains, we say the child is having global developmental delay. Most common cause of global developmental delay, including genetic causes, is Down syndrome, that is trisomy 21. Trisomy 21. At the same point is mentioned in the IAP review article also. So this is regarding development question and developmental implications. Now this is a topic which I have taken from Nelson 22nd edition table, selected points I am discussing. There is a table in Nelson from where questions are asked in INI super speciality. They will mention a developmental milestone and they will ask what is the implication, what does it signify. Okay, so let's start. I am taking the hard way out. I could have shown the table and just marked on the table but I, I have selected some relevant points from that based upon how questions are being asked. So, if the child is able to reach out for the objects and is able to do scribbling, what does it indicate? It indicates visual motor coordination. If the child is able to transfer object hand to hand, that allows comparison of the objects. This is a previous year question. This question was first asked in AIMS entrance exam before INICT came and then it was repeated in INI super speciality exam. Right? So it's a PG level exam question which it was actually a very tough question for PG uh, entrance examiner students but then it was repeated in super speciality with some variation as well. Then a child is able to build tower of two cubes. What does that, that signify? It is signifies the brain has now enough uh, ability to use objects in combination with each other. A child is able to build tower of six to seven cubes. It follows three things. Visual, gross and fine motor coordination. Otherwise, child will not be able to balance six to seven cubes. If the child is able to have hand regard, it indicates self-discovery. But again, this self-discovery should go away. Once child knows that my hands are there, then self-discovery should go away and he should start doing other activities. He should not be only obsessed with the hand. So hand regard should come at three months and it should disappear by five months and in indicates beginning of self-discovery by the child. Pretended play indicates symbolic thought. Babbling indicates experimentation with sound. What is babbling? I am... I, 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 uh, that kind of a sound is called as babble. And bisyllable indicates expressive language. Now he is combining two simple syllables, repeating them to create a, to express a particular sound. Baba, mama. He is saying to the mother, mama. Mama, two words he is expressing and conveying that you are my mother, I know you, I understand you. That is called as expressive language. That is what is signified by bisyllables. Now some one liners from Nelson 22nd edition. Total brain volume doubles in the first year of life. Another 15% increase occurs in the second year of life. Then, what is the total brain volume at one month of age? 36% of adult volume. Total brain volume at one year of age, 72% of adult volume. And at two years of age, it becomes 83% of adult volume. Fact-based things, you are supposed to remember that.